Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, everybody. Can you hear me? Okay? Yeah? Good afternoon, friends and family of DJ Henry. I'm Kelly Cavanaugh, the new principal of Olive Rings High School, and I'm truly honored to have the privilege to welcome you to this dedication ceremony. I've only been a member of the Oliver Ames family for a year, uh, but DJ's story and his memory have already made a lasting impact on me as a leader and as a human. Um, I'd like to start by thanking the members of the Easton School Committee, the Easton Public Schools Administration, Raising Multicultural Kids, and the Oliver Ames community for attending today. I'd also like to thank Matt Auger, whose commitment to purchasing this beautiful tree and plaque and planning the ceremony um, was unmatched, and we really appreciate you, Matt. And finally, we would all like to, to send our sincerest gratitude to the Henry family for their commitment to supporting us in having DJ's legacies live in these walls every day, and for our students to have the opportunity to learn about him through your videos and your stories, and to DJ for all he gave to our school in his time here. And now I'm gonna welcome uh, Tatum Perry to the stage. She's gonna speak on behalf of our ADL peer leaders. Tatum. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you all for being here. My name is Tatum Perry, and I'm grateful to be up here representing OA's ADL Peer Leaders and the RMK Youth Forum, both organizations dedicated to making meaningful change and connection in our communities. Today, we are here to honor one of Easton and OA's most inspiring students, DJ Henry, a student who epitomized kindness, hope, and sincerity, and just through his presence, served his community. As this tree in his honor serves to symbolize his legacy, the legend of the kind of local hero that he was, it continues to ring throughout our OA halls, reminding us of the importance of who we choose to be and what we leave behind. It is because of DJ Henry, because of the person he chose to be, that we can all see clear the work that still needs to, needs to be done to meet his standard of genuine humanity, both in the halls of OA and within the town. And with this tree, we hope that as it continues to grow and root its place at OA, so continues the spread of DJ Henry's memory and spirit. He's taught us that kindness isn't just important, it is also powerful. So to everyone here, today I hope that we can all spend some time considering our own legacies, the way our words, our actions, and our hearts have touched others. For this is truly how a person lives on, and DJ Henry's spirit still remains purely through the grace of his. Uh, now I would like to invite Mrs. Holbrook to say a few words. Thank you, Tatum. Um, I, I had an opportunity um, to experience DJ Henry not as a student, but as an athlete. And one of the things that I will always remember about him is we hold our student athletes to a very high level of accountability. And DJ Henry was an extraordinary example of that. I used to have a lot of fun with DJ and Brandon Cox at the beginning of Evolution Sports because they were the very first program that we took our girls basketball team to for physical training. And DJ and Brandon were the first two, I believe, um, af boy athletes from Oliver Ames High School that participated in strength and conditioning. And the one thing that I loved about DJ was the fact that it didn't bother him that there were girls in the gym with him making themselves bigger, faster, stronger. And I will forever appreciate that about him because he was always for the good of the group. And to me, that was one of the most important characteristics because he not only led on the field and on the court, he led every day as he walked through this building. So I will be forever grateful for having had a chance to spend time with him. And I want to say to Matt Auger, you did an awesome job planting this tree, dude, like I was watching it the last couple of days. So, you know, you may have a future as a horticulturist. 
Uh, at this time, I would like to introduce um, Janice Brockman, who was a former teacher and um, a wonderful contributor to the culture of all of Rames High School, Janice Brockman. Everything that has been said before me is so true of DJ. He was an absolutely wonderful person. Um, we're here to honor his memory for, for a young man who was taken away way too soon. He was an integral part of our OA community. He had many friends, he played multiple sports, and was liked by everyone who met him. The kids in the school, all of us teachers, all of the staff, there wasn't anyone that ever had a bad word to say about DJ. I did not have DJ as a student. I got to know him through Banton Cox and my daughter. So that's how I got to know him. Um, this memorial tree is going to be planted as a lasting memory for such a wonderful role model that I will hope every student now and in years to come will respect and learn from what the what DJ represented in his being. Um, everybody, all students should emulate the way he behaved. Um, he had so much to offer the world um, and I really hope that students will uh, tag on to his legacy. Some of his very many positive qualities were kindness, consideration, being totally upbeat, humble, friendly, respectful, polite, and I'm sure all of you can keep adding on many more adjectives have up, um, in addition that some have already been said. He was an absolutely wonderful, all-around nice person. I never heard, no one ever, ever said a bad word about DJ. And my lasting remark is, I hope the students who look out these windows or who are in this courtyard ask about this tree and this plaque and this person and that they will then model themselves after him. Angela, this has never left my, my bulletin board that's on my desk at home. And, and I just had to bring it because it's always there. All right, thank you. I'd like to welcome up Shantiria from the RMK Youth to say a few words. Yeah. Hi, I'm Denise Lane, Executive Director of Raising Multicultural Kids, and um, I just wanted to say a few words about the RMK Youth Forum. Um, under the direction of Georgina Englishby in 2020, they came together, comprised of many OA students that really in 2020 said, we really want to do something and honor DJ. And so they worked with the staff and created DJ Day in October of that year. But they wanted to continue that legacy to honor him and make sure that his legacy is known and ah! continued throughout, this, throughout the school. So Shantaria is the chair of our youth forum and she'd like to say a few words. Hello everyone, how are you doing? Um, hello everyone, how are you doing? Right. My name is Shantaria Crawford and I'm the chair of Raising Multicultural Kids Youth Forum. Today is a day that is both a little sad and very beautiful, and that is okay. It is great to bring forth the truth about a moment in time. The truth is, when our youth forum was created in the summer of 2020, we asked ourselves, what was something that the youth in our community wanted to talk about during such a pivotal time? What truly mattered to them? A phrase I heard before the summer was brought to light once again, DJ Henry Day. 
I could see how much he meant to the people I had spoken with, and I was excited to be a part of such a great project. But I have to be honest, whenever I was in the Eastern community, whether it was visiting my husband's family or volunteering, all I ever saw acknowledging DJ was a small plaque in the display case in one of the hallways right here in OA, and of course with his name on it from his family. One thing was for sure, many students in Easton seemed to be ready to discuss DJ and his legacy in a way that hadn't been done in the 10 years since his ascension, to remember him, to honor him. However, with heavy hearts, many of us realized the pain some had experienced in this community by not truly acknowledged, acknowledging that one of their own is gone. With lots of hard work, the Youth Forum, along with RMK, OA, and several leaders here in our community, designed and created DJ Henry Day. Both of these years have been the most beautiful challenge to attempt to shine a bright light on DJ's legacy and letting students think of their own legacy. The first year, many students were upset to have this be one of the few discussions about DJ to happen over 10 years. Why now was the most frequent question I was asked. Many students who went to school with, with DJ had left the community without an opportunity to really talk about him. Why hadn't those students gotten this chance? Then an even harder truth was, sh was shared. Many students ah. feared they would finally get a chance to have open and earnest discussions about justice, about their own lives and experiences, about DJ, just for them to be abandoned. And I want to say to all OA students, we heard you loud and clear. We are still here today and hope to be with you again in the fall for our third DJ Henry Day. Today, we have the honor of playing this tree and placing this plaque right here in the courtyard. Right here, we continue to hold space for our beloved tiger who once graced the halls, classroom, and football fields of OA. This day wouldn't have been possible without the leaders we currently have in the schools right now, too many of y'all to name. Without the dedication and hard work of Raising Multicultural Kids Youth Forum, ADL peer leaders, and Claudia Ferreira, who could not be here today. And without the blessings of the Henry family. Today we remember DJ for the kindness he exuded, the love for family he had, the sportsmanship he displayed, and the impact he has continued to have on us all. Thank you. Thank you guys very much for this beautiful tribute. I know for sure that our son would be in awe of what's happened here. Um, many of you have spoken about his qualities and um, you know all of the things that he loved most, which was really having good friends, sports. Anyone that knew him knew all he did was talk about sports. So. Um, this is a wonderful tribute, and he just loved family. He really did want to be um, the best he could be, so we appreciate that you guys continue to think about him, speak about him, and for the students that didn't know him, we appreciate that you're taking the time to learn about him. And for all of you that did know him, we thank you that you continue to share him with people in your circles. And um, so we're grateful, continually grateful for the Easton community and all that you guys have done for us. Um, in our most darkest hours, you guys came and rallied and loved on us and comforted us in ways that we really needed. So we are forever eternally grateful for each of you for all that you've done. So thank you. Thank you. I'm not sure who's next.
that's the end of our ceremony. I don't really have anything else to add other than just I'm very happy that we had this event today. And it's a great showing. And when I look around here, it's really impactful to me. And so um, just happy we did this. So thanks, everyone. If, if anyone's interested in the library, where it's air conditioned, we have some uh, water and light refreshments for anyone who wants to stay and have a chance to chat.